Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. Today we're looking at building a new container with Proxmox VE. In the last episode, we downloaded the container. Uh, I have since uh, I have since changed to a different container that I've got on the system, and we are going to go ahead. In the last episode, we downloaded a container template and I had a few issues with that particular template. So I have selected a different template and that's what we're gonna work from today. As you can see on your screen, we've got the Lime Survey uh, Debian 10 turnkey Linux template and we're gonna build a container from it. So, again, with all things in Proxmox, as well as computing in general, there's more than one way to do things. So, the no way I normally do it is to come over here to PVE, right-click, and do Create Container. You can also use the button up here at the top, Create Container. It's going to give you the exact same setup wizard. Fill in some information. And those actually match. Template. We've just got the one, Lime Survey, next. And we're going to give this a 24 gig disk. Next, we'll give it just one CPU core. Call it good. Bridge networking and local DNS, and we're going to say start it after creation. And hopefully, I got this on the first try, and we will have a working container in just a few moments. While we're waiting on this, it's a great time to ask all you fine folks out there to like, subscribe, and leave comments on the video. Share it with your friends and anybody that might be interested on social media. And doing so will help our channel continue to grow and let me bring you more videos. Alrighty, task okay. We are good to go. So the container is starting. 
So we'll switch over to console. And it's booting up at least, which is a good sign. All right, and we're in the Turnkey Linux installer program. And this looks like any other Turnkey Linux install from an ISO that you might have done. these like we normally do install Okay, and so we're at 74.147. And go past our security warning. And we've got our install of Lime Survey. So. Um, not having used Lime Survey before. Um, let's take a look at our slash admin. There it goes. Great, and so now we've got an install of Lime Survey, and it's completed by the SSL certificate, which is fine. So from here, you've got a survey platform, just like you'd use SurveyMonkey or you know whatever else is out there. Uh, you could do this to. Pull your customers or family members or coworkers, whatever you would like to do, and uh, collect information. So that is our short demo of installing an appliance on Proxmox VE. And this episode will bring us to the end of our initial six-part series on Proxmox VE. If you have something specific that you would like to see in a future Proxmox video, please leave comments down below. There are some things that I will be able to do and some things I won't be able to do, but... Right now, this was where I had envisioned the six-part series ending. And so, uh, I will be moving on to some other topics coming up. And that, my friends, will bring us to another... And that, my friends, will bring us to another, one more time. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another practical IT video. 
Again, I'll ask you to take a moment and like, subscribe, and leave comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, happy computing, and have a great day.